this is your boy Bob TV. How you doing today? Welcome to Freedom on Fire. I'm going to be very quick. We're doing a series called Punk Politicians. And I want to just start off. This is not the intro. I already sent a couple of videos out talking about certain politicians. I talked about Obama. I talked about Cuomo. I got one comment coming out about Cory Booker. But I want to look at, talk to you progressives. And first of all, let's get a real meaning of progressive. Let's not make progressive a party. Progressive is a mindset. You have Green Party people that are progressive. You have progressive Democrats. You even have progressive conservatives, conservatives like me, which means I'm 80% aggressive, I mean progressive, 20% conservative. You know, so, but my overall thinking is progressive. There's some things I'm still working on, okay? Um, but I'm working on it, all right? I don't agree with everything 100%. And I never done that with any kind of position I stood politically. I never did it as a Republican. I never did it as a Democratic. And that's why my stance is usually independent. But we have to get out of this thing about progressive is how my party run things. That's why I'm kind of privy about participating in events sponsored by our revolution or events sponsored by the Green Party and things like that. Because it's all about building up us. I listened to a Democratic um, uh, Our Revolution uh, event with Chuck Schumer, and all he was talking about, we Democrats, we Democrats. Doc, some of those people out there are not Democrats. Why don't you give them some freaking credit, all right? And they're never going to be a Democratic, but they believe in you fighting for health care. So they partner with you and join with you. So my suggestion is we progressives got to get out of these party hats, and when we host our events, we open it to anybody who believes in doing the right thing for the American people. If you have an event to stop Big Farmer, don't politicize it. Don't do that. Make it a movement generated event, not a political event. Not to raise money, not to get the recognition for your party, but you make it an event because of your values of how you're thinking. That's how the um, Christian conservative movement, the rain, not, uh, not the Rainbow Coalition, but the Christian Coalition. That's how they did it. That's why we need to do something like that. We need to have a progressive coalition and begin to move as a block. The Christian Coalition was not a party. It was a block. The Rainbow Coalition is supposed to be a block. Our revolutionary is supposed to be a block, but our revolutionary need to get his head out of his democratic behind and just be a part of a pro pro add their weight to the progressive block. It should be all about progressive ideas, progressive movement. All right? So it should always be about making sure people can uh, not have to halfway kill themselves just to get the medication that they need. We should make it always available for them to get their prescription, no matter what the cost is. I mean, I don't care if the, it's $10,000. We should be able to get that to them at no cost. So. That's what I'm talking about. We got to get out of these progressive hats. I mean, these um, party hats, these party positions, and stop thinking about what I'm doing is going to build up my party. You got to stop that. You got to stop that, Sanders. You got to stop that. If you're doing that, Jill Stein or, or uh, Ajamo Baraka, I don't think they're doing it. But we got to stop that. We have to come together, as I keep telling you, as a collective. United we stand, divided we fall. Want to put a ten? One put a thousand pl flight. Put a ten. Two will put ten thousand a flight. There's strength in numbers, and the only way we're going to grow, we have to grow as a block instead of a party. So, which brings me to pump politicians. People, beware of pump politicians. What do you mean by pump politician? All right. For an example, Cuomo sat down on the stage with Bernie Sanders talking about we're going to make college uh, at no cost if you make one hundred fifty thousand dollars or less in New York and he bought Sanders up there to pimp him to boost up his position as a progressive. Uh, 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 nah, 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 nah. Not when two days later you're going to sign a bill denying, you're going to veto a bill denying the underprivileged and the poor legal access. Bad enough they're not able to get top quality access but you're going to deny them legal access period. So if you don't have the money to uh, if you get in a legal situation, in order to win that legal situation, you got to have the best defense. He took that away from the people in New York. 
So no, that's what I'm talking about, politician. They appear to be a progressive here, or they're trying to look progressive, but they're sitting up here throwing people under the bus. Cory Booker, the supposed to be the shining star. Of the, um, now Cuomo is the future of the Democratic Party. Cory Booker is supposed to be the shining star of the Democratic Party. Yes, he gets on stage and he blasts his session. A guy he worked with, a guy he talked good about. Uh, and I can show you clips, but I don't have time to do that. Just talk great things about session and working with session. He thought it was um, good for him to get on the seat and, and talk about him like a dog. But yet he talked about him as if he was the great best thing since sliced bread um, when he came, when he took a Senate position uh, in one of the committees. Here's Cory Booker, a man who's want to seem like he's going toe to toe with Trump and his organization to seem like a progressive um, a baby lion, like he like he uh, Simba or somebody like that, you know, when he really is a lap dog for the pharmaceutical industry. Yes, I talked about just session as a dog. I look great on TV, but behind closed doors, you're going to veto a bill that will allow People who cannot afford prescriptions in America to not be able to get them in Canada. Oh, I don't know if it's safe. Man, where have you heard it in anybody news that Canadian drug, pre drug prescription is crap? This is not Mexico. And even Mexico got some better subscription for cheaper prices. No, you want to sit there and kiss the butt of your pharmaceutical industry because they're paying you hundreds of thousands of dollars for your campaign on a yearly basis and you threw the people under the bus and you want to use, I don't think they're safe. Man, get out of here. Canada is just as advanced in America. Their policies are just as strong. You don't think Trudeau, and I'm not, you know, uh, I'm not fooled by Trudeau, but you don't think that their system is not going to look at the drugs? You don't, you don't trust Canada, but you trust the um, big money donors who are trying to pimp the American people out of their money. That's what I'm talking about. Pump politicians in your face trying to be progressive, but throwing people under the bus at the same time. Oh, I'm not done. I'm just going to name a few. Tim Kaine. Yeah, I saw you on the, uh, on the Senate floor grilling Miss um, Voss, the, um, so was going to be the Secretary um, of Education. I saw you. But here you are. You veto a bill and threw American people under the bus. Yes, you. We had an option, we had a chance to put a public option in Obamacare, in the ACA, the Affordable uh, Care Act. You denied it. Trying to be progressive, well you can never look progressive. I mean, you corporate as they come, you can, sm you can smell the corporate funk on you a mile around. But you're gonna sit there and veto a bill, or you're gonna sign no on a bill that allows a public option which is the very thing that's missing in the ACA that could make it better. You, somebody else, who people are talking about is the future of the Democratic Party. Sit your butt down, Doc. Sit your butt down. You're not the future of anything when you're throwing people under the bus when all they need was a public option. Number, and last but not least for now, because there are probably going to be some dumb, idiot, moving, Democrat or Republican or no, I respect I expect certain things out of Republicans, but there's certain things I don't expect a Democrat. I'm starting to believe I should expect it because half the Democrats are corporate Democrats, they're corporate suck ups, they 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 get pimp for the dollar. And all you have to do is make it rain on them and they're gonna get the twerking. No. So last but not least, President Obama, yeah, this happened about six months back had a chance uh, to sue Saudi Arabia, Arabia, who was horrible when it comes to um, the treatment of his own people, especially women, and especially people like Christians and atheists and things like that. Saudi Arabia, the people who's funding Al-Qaeda, funding ISIS, who probably had a lot to do with 9-11, not giving the American people the opportunity to sue the Saudi government. Obama did that. He s vetoed it, saying, no, you're not going to sue my buddies. You're not going to sue my friends. I might need them to build my library. Really? Come on, come on. Pop politicians, man. They appear to be all beautiful and great and sound like they're for you. They're going to appear to be by your side and be your best friend. At the same time, they'll stab you in your back in a heartbeat for the donor. And why? Why politicians? 
your real donors are the American people. We can give you more money than your, 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 your lobbyists, your corporation. We can give you more money than them in a minute. If you trust us, do right by us, we'll support you. We should be the one that you bow down and kiss to. Well, you will be. Because as my mama said, we brought you in. We'll take you out. They may have given you the money, but we the one that had to get up out of our bed and truck our way to that voting booth and vote for your punk behind. Yeah, I call it your punk because you make punk moves. If you walk like a duck, talk like a duck, act like a duck, nine times ten you are. And if you walk like a punk, doing punk moves, acting like a punk, you are one. Don't fool. We're not fooled. Those days are gone, politicians, where you can smile and do those big speeches with that monotone voice. Look, we're not falling for that. We got that with Obama for eight years and underlining he was doing things that most people think he did not do. I got somebody saying, oh, he's he's scandal free. No, he's not. He just worked deals where people stopped talking about it, just like Bill Clinton and any other politician. So, no, he's not scandal free. And based on his action and his records and some of the things that he have done, it's horrible and terrible. And in some cases, if he was in another country, they will charge him for war crimes just like they did should be doing Bush and just like they should be doing Bush number one. Anyway, I'm done. Punk politicians, beware of them. They're coming out starting this year. They're going to profess to be the people's person. The progressive. They're going to do something big on TV. But watch their next move. Behind the scenes, they're going to throw somebody under the bus. And that somebody may be you and me. And when we see this stuff, we got to call it out. We can't be quiet and say, what a shame. We got to find out his Senate number. We got to get people by the millions to blast them out and tell them that we're going to vote them out of office. We got to go where we got to go and protest where they're claiming they have their speech and call them out for being a fraud that they are. We got to do that. We are already on Facebook. We are already on Twitter. You need to go there and blast them out on Facebook and blast them out on Twitter. Cory Booker getting hit hard, but he deserved it. Man, know what you just did, black man, brother? These people are running to shut the door on a Grim Reaper and you kick the door open and say, go get them. Punk politician. These people are struggling. They're getting arrested for things that they had nothing to do. They're getting people just cheating them and taking advantage of them. And when they need to get some kind of way to make a stand for themselves legally, Mr. Cuomo, you throw them on the bus. Now they can't even afford free legal services because you're getting rid of that. How are they going to stand and fight a charge or something? Pump politician. These people are still struggling with 9-11, cancer and all that kind of stuff, Mr. Obama. And they can't even sue the people who helped fund this thing. And you didn't go out. You go, you're going out with, as a superstar. Not to me, because I know your record. Tim Kaine? All we needed was a freaking public option. And that would have made the Affordable Care Act a thousand times better. You signed off for it. You said no. Pump politician. Pump political move. All designed to throw people on the buses. And these are democratic leadership. Really. Really. And you want us to trust you? How are you trying to be on our side doing stupid stuff like this. I'm done, y'all. Beware of punk politicians. They're coming after you. They're going to look like they're all that, just like me and that girl, just like me and that guy. Oh, he looks good. She looks good. Fine, dress fine, smell good, talk good. But behind closed doors, they have an agenda. And that agenda is to get something from you. I tell people, never trust your politician. Make them earn it. Make them earn it. Don't trust what they say. Don't trust what they do. Make them earn it. Punk politicians. They smile in your face all the time. They want to take your place. 
and backstab you. I'm Bob TV. Peace.